in this second lecture of collision of rigid body i am considering what if the axis of rotation of this body is fixed for this purpose i am assuming thus that this rod is fixed at this end okay so don't think that it is hanging in vertical plane it is in horizontal plane only okay one end is fixed and the body is moving to the right instead of at one end i am considering the length of the rod is l mass is capital m but i am assuming that the ball is hitting at a distance b from the hinge o not at the end so to apply conservation of angular momentum and to apply the law of restitution how the things are going to look like to make you understand that i would like to uh, calculate first thing if this body collides of mass m and moving with velocity v not to the right collides with this rod at a distance b from this fixed hinge okay with a rod of mass m and length l first thing that i would like to calculate is what is going to be the velocity of this rod because rod can have pure rotation about o so angular velocity i wanted to calculate for that purpose i am assuming that the ball, uh, ball is sticking to the rod after collision in previous case i assumed that the ball comes to rest but now i wanted to assume that the ball is sticking to the rod and i'm applying conservation of linear momentum and angular momentum and first thing and very very important thing is linear momentum is not conserved in this situation because hinge force is an impulsive force here so forget about applying conservation of linear momentum now i am applying conservation of angular momentum and one more thing as the body is hinged over here here angular momentum is conserved only about o which is hinge point fixed point okay so now i am applying conservation of angular momentum about o for that purpose first i should calculate what is the initial angular momentum of the system li what is the initial angular momentum of the system the rod is at rest but the ball is moving to the right so it will be having an orbital angular momentum with respect to o so angular orbital angular momentum of m with respect to o is given by how much m into velocity v not r bar cross r bar cross velocity v not which is along i cap so what is r bar with respect to o distance from here to here it is given how much b so m into b it is in which direction this right direction i am taking as the x axis this up direction i am taking as y axis okay so down means this is minus j cap minus j cap cross v not into i cap okay that is equal to m v not into b i cross j or j cross i is minus k minus into minus plus k okay so this is the initial direction of angular momentum this is the initial value that is before collision after collision final angular momentum i am i wanted to calculate so to calculate final angular momentum what's happening here the ball after collision is sticking to the rod because of which both the ball as well as rod will be having angular momentum but here the rod will be having only rotation about o only there is no translation because of which you can write it as i o into omega this omega in which sense it is rotating it is rotating in counter clockwise sense because of which it is moving it is pointed along k cap direction plus m into i don't know what is the velocity of this ball after collision but as i assume in my in the beginning of the problem itself that it is sticking to the rod so it this body also will be having same angular velocity but the distance from here to here is how much b m into okay b square into omega okay it is rotating about this fixed axis o because of which it is m b square into omega and this this ball also has uh, angular momentum r is rotating in counter clockwise sense yes, because of which its angular momentum is along k cap so now conserving the angular momentum about o about o before uh, collision it is how much m v not into b is equal to after collision i not what is i not with respect to one of its ends m l square divided by 
3 into omega which is along k cap plus m b square into omega which is also k cap all are k caps only here i forgot to put k cap. all are k caps only through this i got the expression for omega what is the value of omega am i right so how much you gonna get here through this so m v naught into b is equal to if you take omega common from this omega into m l square divided by 3 plus m into b square through this you can calculate the angular velocity of rod and of course it is same for uh, bullet, bullet ball also omega is given by m v naught into b divided by m l square divided by 3 plus m into b square this is how i calculated the angular velocity of the rod by applying conservation of angular momentum above change okay and the next thing that i would like to calculate here is second thing by by assuming coefficient of restitution e is equal to 2 1 by 2 by assuming coefficient of restitution e is equal to 1 by 2 i wanted to find the relationship between small m and the capital m such that ball comes to rest after collision that's what i wanted to calculate here so simply write down the law of restitution along the line of impact okay how do you going to write down this 1 by 2 is equal to v21 divided by u12 along line of impact okay along the line of impact i'm writing law of restitution therefore 1 divided by 2 is equal to v21 means v2 minus v1 divided by u1 minus u2 so what is u2 here u2 is velocity of the rod before collision here u2 is 0 and u1 is how much v naught only and v2 is how much omega v is equal to r omega omega into distance of point of impact is at a distance b omega into b okay it is in right sense only that only i am writing here that implies 1 divided by 2 is equal to v2 is how much omega into b minus 0 divided by u1 u1 is how much v naught minus 0 through this i got a relationship between v naught and omega b am i right so therefore v naught is equal to what you can write omega into b divided by but actually i need a relationship between small m and the capital m such that hinge force uh, impulse at the hinge becomes zero for that purpose i will apply conservation of angular momentum conservation of angular momentum so the difference between this situation and previous situation is here i did not assume that m is coming to rest ball is coming to rest after collision but here i am assuming in the second case that ball is coming to rest in such a case what is the relationship between small m and capital m okay so for that purpose what should i do applying conservation of angular momentum about o only i'm applying the conservation of angular momentum so before collision what is the angular momentum of the system m into v naught into b which is along k cap same as over here only is equal to after collision after collision here the body is moving along with the rod but in this second case in this second case i assumed that body is coming to rest angular momentum of this ball which which come which is coming to rest after collision with respect to hinge is zero plus angular momentum of the rod about the hinge is i o into omega okay in this situation which is pointing in which direction it is rotating in which sense counterclockwise sense because of which it is pointing along k cap only. so that implies m into v naught into b is equal to what is i naught m l square divided by 12 because moment of energy of rod with respect to one of its end is ml square by 12 into omega okay so here simply substitute v naught is equal to omega b divided by 2 m naught into omega b divided by 2 into b is equal to what you will be getting m into l square divided by 12 into omega in this omega omega gets cancelled 
I need a relationship between M by M naught. Therefore, M naught divided by capital M is equal to 1 za 2 6 za. Okay? L square divided by 6 B square. This is the relationship between small m and capital M such that after collision, the ball comes to rest.